Another great feature that Vaitas has is a built-in leave calendar. This is a feature that many supervisors really find appealing because a lot of supervisors do this on their own in Outlook and now it's done for you in Vaitas. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say that we want to look at the leave calendar for these last four employees. Just like everything else in Select Employees, we first must indicate which employees we want to take an action on by putting the check in the box in front of the employee's name. We then go under the orange leave and premium pay and select leave calendar. This will show you a calendar view of all of your leave and premium pay requests for the employees that you are either a primary or a backup supervisor for. Notice that each request will have an A, a D, or a P in front of the employee's name to indicate if that request is approved, denied, or pending. What's fantastic about this feature is that you can actually get into your employee's leave request from this screen. Let's say that we want to look at these leave requests submitted by Lionel Ritchie. We simply click on the link and it takes us into the employee's leave request. We can see that the employee is taking annual leave from March 21st through March 25th from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. for 40 total hours. If this leave request is approvable, you simply scroll down to the bottom of the page and approve. So again, you can approve your leave and premium pay from the request calendar. Notice that now all of Lionel Richie's leave requests have an A in front of the request indicating that it is now approved. Same thing with your premium pay. Let's click on Paul Simon's premium pay on Saturday the 5th. It takes us into the premium pay request. We again have the option to either approve, deny, or cancel. We click approve. The request is now supervisor approved and ready to be approved by the second level supervisor, now known as the TL approver. Let's go back to our calendar one last time. And let's say that you have a lot of employees who are going to request leave around the holidays. You can go to December and you'll be able to view exactly which day the holiday falls on and you'll be able to see which employees have already requested those days off around the holiday. That makes it easier for the supervisor to grant leave to some and not others to be able to still have coverage when necessary. Let's go back to select employees.